Hello everyone, welcome to Big Data Knowledge and Official. So today we will be seeing the difference between the Spark and the Hadoop. So in the previous section we have discussed what is Spark and what is Hadoop in detail. So if you want that video, the link will be in the description as well as in the i section. Please go through it. So in the today's session we will discuss the difference between Spark and Hadoop and what are the different factors that differentiate among both. So let us start with the video. So Spark is written in Scala language mainly and it supports different language APIs such as Scala, Python, Java and R. But Hadoop mainly supports Java. Whenever we are writing the code for Hadoop or whenever we are writing code in the Hadoop, we have to write in the Java language. It doesn't support any other language. So this is the main basic difference between Spark and Hadoop. Next is the speed. So as we know, Hadoop is very much faster as compared to the traditional systems. Uh, traditional database system in the sense SQL or uh, we can say the different database system which we use traditionally, it is more faster as compared to that. But Spark is 100 times faster than MapReduce that is Hadoop. Uh, since Spark provides in-memory computation, so the speed of Spark is high as compared to the Hadoop architecture. Next is ease of use. Spark is very easier and simple to use as compared to Hadoop because in Hadoop we have to write the complex and lengthy programs which are written in Java languages. As we all know in Hadoop we have to write three programs that is the mapper, reducer and the main program. Whereas that uh, in Spark it is a very less line of code as compared to Hadoop so it is easier to understand as well as to write. Next is the data processing. Hadoop supports batch processing. The data that we want to process we have to store it in the batch and provide as an input to the Hadoop in the, with the use of HDFS whereas in Spark batch processing as well as real-time processing is also possible. We can process the real-time live streaming data, also interactive data, iterative data as well as graph. Spark also supports graph uh, API. So the data processing is very um, vast um, in Spark as compared to Hadoop. So this is the main difference in the Spark and Hadoop. In Hadoop, we have to process only batches that is being stored in the HDFS. Next is the caching of data. As I told you before, Spark provides in-memory computation. So whenever the data is provided to Spark, it stores in the memory and then the computation is programmed in the memory itself. So it is it allows the caching of data, whereas in Hadoop, there is no such type of support available. So due to in-memory computation, Spark speed is faster as compared to Hadoop. The next factor is the data storage. So as I told you, Hadoop stores the data on the disk that is the HDFS whereas in Spark the data is stored in the memory that is in memory computation is performed in Spark. So the data is stored in memory. Spark supports different operating systems such as Linux, Windows and Mac but Hadoop supports only Linux. So if you want to perform any analytics tasks using Hadoop we have to use Linux operating system. If we are having Windows operating system, then we have to uh, download virtual machine on it and then only we can perform the computation. So it is a bit difficult as compared to Spark. Spark easily installs on different operating system and works with it. So uh, programmers try to uh, use Spark instead of Hadoop since it is faster as well as it support different operating system. If you are th uh, thinking about the fault tolerance, fault on tolerance is achieved by using RDD in Spark whereas in Hadoop it is achieved by using replication. So in the introduction video of Hadoop we have saw that Hadoop supports the replication factor and replication. The data is being replicated across multiple servers so that if the data uh, if the data from a, uh, one of the cluster is lost then it can be achieved from the or it can be retrieved from the another cluster. But in Spark it is done through RDD. So what is RDD that is Resilient Distributed Data Set. So the detailed architecture of RDD we will be seeing in the further videos. In the introduction I have just discussed what is RDD. So Sparks achieve fault tolerance using RDD. So the data is stored in the Resilient Distributed Data Set across multiple clusters. Whereas in Hadoop it is achieved by using the replication factor. So in the, that video also I have told that the default replication factor is 3. So the data is replaced in the three replication units. Next is the machine learning libraries that uh, used for uh, processing the data. 
so in spark they have the own set of machine learning libraries that no need to um, work with another machine learning tool to perform the analytics but in hadoop if you want to use machine learning features or uh, libraries then uh, it requires a interface with other machine learning tools or libraries one of the example is apache mahout so apache mahout is one of the machine learning library used to process or used to process the data using different machine learning algorithm so in hadoop we need different tools which are uh, which has machine learning algorithms or libraries in it to work with it but spark has its own library so these are some of the difference basic difference between spark and hadoop which differentiate uh, them based on their speed based on their data storage based on the languages and based on the support uh, operating support operating system they are supporting so i hope you all are clear with the idea of the differences between spark and hadoop in the further section we will be discussing in detail the spark architecture what is rdd and what is the different features supported by spark thank you for watching the video if you have any doubt please let me know on the instagram my instagram id is providing below please let me know through it thank you for watching the video